So you've read through the notes on compressors, and now I want to demonstrate how the different types of compressors will not only manage the dynamics of your signal, but they're also going to add some sort of character or color to your sound. Now, in my career, in my sound career, I've worked with SSL, Neve, API, Teletronics, DBX, and so many other absolutely amazing um, brand names. <clears throat> And uh, in Logic, uh, we're very privileged to have um, seven different compressors. We've got the nice digital clean compressor here. And then, of course, we have the emulations of some of the most famous or six of the most famous vintage compressors. So the first one up is the Studio VCA, which is... Um, emulated after the Focusrite Red Compressor. It's an, it gives a really nice, clean, smooth sound. It's really versatile and can be used on a lot of different instruments. Then we have the Studio FET as well as the Vintage FET. And these two compressors are emulated on uh, the versions of the classic Yuri 1176. Um, they offer a really nice warm and uh, uh, it, it gives a really nice fat warm and edgy sound you can also dial in big aggressive drum sounds um, it's a go-to for many sound engineers for vocals as well then the classic VCA over here this one is uh, emulated on the DBX 160 uh, and 160 and the 165 it, it's really cool for vocals. It adds a lot of subtle color and flattery to a vocal. It gives a really nice, warm, fat sound. I really like the sound of this uh, compressor. And uh, we have the Vintage VCA. And this one is based or emulated on the SSL Master Bus compressor found on the classic SSL 4000G console. Now, I've had the privilege of working on the 4000G and the 4000E consoles. They are amazing. And this particular compressor is known to be able to just glue a mix together. We, we, we call it the, um, the glue. It's actually just its nickname uh, amongst engineers the world over. Then we have the Vintage Opto. And uh, this is emulated after the Teletronics LA-2A. It's a classic, it's a tube-based optocompressor, and it's actually a favorite for vocals. It allows relatively heavy compression with uh, a very musical result. It just somehow manages to preserve the performance of vocals um, and the dynamics, um, even though... Uh, there's uh, quite extreme level management. Uh, it's also just really offers a, a warm but a, a gentle sound. So it's also a go-to for a lot of engineers uh, on vocals. All right, so that's just a really quick uh, overview on each of uh, the different compressors here. And I've actually loaded it onto the lead vocal, as you can see. And now I want to go back and you'll notice that most of the controls are the same. The threshold ratio and makeup will remain the same throughout, but uh, the other controls will change as we dial in the different types of uh, compressors. So I'm going to just, uh, as the song is playing, I'm just going to switch between the different types of compressors. I'll just remember that mixing is all about your ears. Um, yes, it's technical and creative, but you've got to really develop a good ear for mixing. So some of these might be a little bit difficult to hear at first. Keep persevering. Um, at the bottom of your screen, it'll pop up with uh, what's happening to the vocal, just to give you a visual explanation as well as get you um, to hear what's going on as well. So without any further... All right. Right. So here we go. Let's have a listen. Here's the digital compressor. And uh, so we'll work our way through. Don't forget about me. I can live in your dreams. I'm not the person who make you fall in love and then fall asleep. Okay, so what will happen is that even though 
um, each of these have their own distinct sound and response. You can still dial in the degree of the analog character that you want, um, but the dynamic response will differ from model to model, even at the same settings, each in accordance with their own original um, response character. So even though the settings are going to be the same, um, the dynamic response is going to differ from model to model, which is what I want you to hear. Don't forget about me I can live in your dreams I'm not the person who make you fall in love and then fall asleep Let me tell you a thing When I see you can breathe You make me think what it would be like if I could see you on the lips If you think about me, about me You can say you love me, love me Where you always hiding, hiding Where you always hiding, hiding Worry about it, it's secret Don't worry about it, our feelings Don't worry about it, it's secret I won't say anything Don't worry about it, it's secret I won't say anything, yeah Worry about it, it's secret Don't worry about it, our feelings Don't worry about it, it's secret I won't say anything Don't worry about it, it's secret Don't worry about it, our feelings Right, so now I'm going to add it in to the whole mix. Let's have a listen. I can live in your dreams. I'm not the person who make you fall in love and then fall asleep. So right, you can see that understanding and knowing the different types of compressors um, will help you to not only choose the right compressor and the right tool for the job, but it's also going to, remember, it's going to add some sort of character or color to your sound. So get to know your tools, use your ears, go and read up again, go read those notes on compressors and um, really learn what the different types of compressors are and what they generally um, typically used for and then don't forget to experiment um, because the type of compressor that you're going to load up onto your next instrument, uh, whether it's your vocal, your bass or your guitar, whatever it is, is really going to influence the sound. I'm going to give you another example. There's um, an API and uh, I've put it onto the main groove over here. Um, just going to quickly solo that section and um, we've got this beautiful API uh, 2500 compressor and uh, just have a listen to the groove. It's, it, all it does is it really just, all it does, what it does is it shapes the punch and the tone and the character um, of, of the sound. It's, it's really versatile, but it's particularly awesome on, on drums and particularly if you're actually into electronic dance music, um, one of these is a good investment. Have a listen. And watch how it just tightens up that bottom end. All right, so on its own, it sounds a little bit uh, strange and you think, oh, something's happening there. I'm not quite sure, but watch what happens when we put it into the mix. Here we go. just adds this glue and this punch and this nice warmth into that groove. All right. 
right. Well, that's it from me on uh, compressors for now. I'll be back with another tutorial. Don't forget to go and experiment. Please go read your notes, go learn what the different types of compressors are and the kind of sonic character that they could add to your sound and how they can really influence your mix. And uh, then don't forget to utilize them, try them out and experiment with them until you find something that really works. Um, obviously, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Um, I would then choose the compressor that I really like the sound of, and then we start to make adjustments and we start to tweak in order to make that sound fit into the mix uh, a little bit better. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.